This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Uh, this is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself. Kevin Davis. Here we are. Music. Love life. Welcome, everyone. I'm exhausted, so I, I, I won't be having the same... I'm not here with the same energy. Can you be tired in the mic, though? Because you're tired to the left. I feel like I am tired in the mic. Yeah, okay. what's going on with you? Is this... I was in the sun today. I was it's in like the sun for like sex five hours. <laughs> Oh, you didn't just call me out. <laughs> <laughs> he just called me out for my hair. It is. It's sweated out. I was in the, uh, the polo match, and so, I was very sophisticated. Polo. Okay. Polo I had, match. I uh-huh. did. I had my hair all put, and it was sweated. And you're right. This was is exactly like how horse? X... This is exactly how after sex hair is. It sweats out. Thanks. But that's just not regular. That's like bunny ear sex. You know, no, bun- my hair gets like this you know immediately after is? sex. No, when your legs are behind your head, it looks like a, a. I don't have. You don't have sex like that. I. This is after sex hair. Thank you for saying that, Kevin. Sure, polo. I had this right. white lady told me one time that I had. <laughs> she was like, "Your hair looks really good. It looks like fuck me hair." Mm. It's like okay. It's yeah, like that, just, that sexy, messy guys like that. Well, you not know, this. This like is that sweated super out. Made up. Yeah, this is sweated out. And this is natural hair. I decided not to wear weaves in a match, and I should have put in a weave. So that we we would have guys. performed better. Is that the thing? Yes, it would not have reacted. So when I see good women at the gym and they have <laughs> Can't weave, we we're talking about this. What I, I've always wondered why women can they get mad about sweating their hair out, but then I see them at the gym with weave and they have it pinned up. Yes. I, why is that? The weave does not respond to the wetness. See this. See how this is starting to curl naturally? But weave is, is real hair most times, yeah, right? Yeah, but it's, it's not African-American hair. So it's you're hair me, that does not respond to moisture. You're telling me that Asian women's hair does not respond no, to moisture? No, it does not. It's beautiful. Is it real? What? what? It is. Asian women's hair does not curl up. It's just white people's hair and Asian people's hair, Indian people's hair. It just gets straight when it's wet. Jewish people's hair curls up. Some Jewish people. That's white depends, people. It depends on the Jewish. I think it's only depends. Asians. No, it isn't. White, and white people's hair does not curl up. Some people have curly hair, it does, but a lot of it just becomes straight. It just lays flat. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I want. It, this, this is not. That's what you want? <laughs> look what's happening. I'm beginning to look like a chia pet. And that's why we're not going live on Facebook today. We're just no, doing you this. No, look, your hair is fine. Your natural hair is beautiful. I don't know I why agree. you he would say... He is saying that, and he just I addressed agree. the fact that it looked like I just finished a rousing sex session. Well, you know how sometimes women can smell like sex and it arouses other men? I did not know... I- what? Yeah, the pheromones or whatever. Uh-huh. Smell like actual sex? You can, yes. Like she hasn't taken a shower? Yes. I don't, I've never heard that before. That's foolishness. That's what? not and that's, that's, that's science. Not, that is, you you those, those take pheromones. a shower after sex. You don't go around a guy with the you, you sweat know. You of another think you're guy supposed on to. you. No, 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 not the sweat of another guy. The, the Your sex smell will attract the other sm- men. The scent that I have secreted during yes. the intimacy? Yes. No. Yes. No, you get rid of it. You wash it with soap. The sex of other men just sounds That's weird. Dirty. She's, she's that, adding that some just, other shit in there. Right. What I'm talking about is her pheromones will attract another man. Yes. That's just, has, it's the way it works. But how do you I get the them juice? out without having sex? If you sex. were to masturbate but not have sex with another man <laughs> and leave whatever scent may have come from, like let it get hot and sweaty in there. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? And then this walk outside, horrible. go to the mall or something with that on you. I promise you dudes will be following you like the Pied hey. Piper. Shout Hey. Hey. <laughs> What your name is, well, girl? It, 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 obviously, my hair looks like I masturbated. So, uh, oddly enough, though, this is this is real stuff, right? A, okay. a guy can go some like go work out or something and right. come back sweaty or whatever. Right. The woman that loves him will be attracted to that, whereas another woman might be offended by that smell. I, I don't that, like the smell. I think that you you're onto something. I'm just now, I do I do know that women guys, are very big in the smells. I don't like that smell. Yes. If I'm you're away, it. does does your wife like grab your t shirt or your yes. sweatshirt or something? Yes. Uh, yeah. after my after daughters and my wife, out. my daughters and my mm-hmm. wife both will come in and just smell my underarm, stuff like that. Weird stuff. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. telling you it happens. They're like, oh my God. They do it. What is happening in your home? I'm telling you, they do it. So what you're saying is you've never been, been attracted to- I've never smelled to, the under armpits. No. You've never been attracted what? to the smell of your guy? No. You've never been in love. Maybe. <laughs> you've never been in love Oh, yet. my God. You have yet to maybe find that's, love. Maybe that's part of, that's what's missing there. You need to smell more of your men. <laughs> smell them. You got to smell them. Yes. But not just like soon they get out of the shower smell. Yeah, like, I know. Because I've had guys like that. I'm like, let me go take a shower. They're like, no. Right. Like, but it's salty. It's like- 
Yeah. Get, get home from work smell. Like how, how do you Oh yeah, no, you, I've never like that. I've been told that you smell like a working man. I know well, I like the idea of a working man. I don't know about the working man. So I'm just talking about, you know, if you work a desk job and it's air conditioned where you work. I'm not talking about if you lay like Yeah, it's different. Cable I, outside. Like, yeah, I, lay I, pipe. I'm thinking of like Why did you say pipe? Lay pipe. That just obviously. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's in your head already. It's already there. <laughs> hey, I'm see, thinking you meant after pipe, the gym. Polo, hung like a horse. It's all it's <laughs> in the hair. Right. The I thought right. you guys were talking about like when a, after a person works out. That yeah, it works out, whatever. I mm-hmm. don't like underarms, period. What do you mean you don't like I don't, them? I just don't I don't like that area on the body. What do you, that doesn't mean, make any sense. I don't want to smell it. I don't like that area on the body. You don't have to necessarily smell the underarms no, or the, the, the chest. I like the, the, the feel of the chest. It's my favorite place. Mm-hmm. But I don't like to smell it after he works I out. I don't think that you've ever been in love. Maybe not. Maybe you just, uh, you just it's cracked amaz- my situation. It is amazing See? that my wife is so attracted to that smell. Now, like, I don't, I don't ever stink. Let's, so let's, get it all, let's get it corrected. I don't, no, I'm serious. I don't really have, I'm not the, one of those guys. There are people who- My girl says that too. There yeah. are people who do stuff. and Maybe they, it's the love. There are people who take two showers a day because they just have a, a, a funk that happens. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of those kind of people. I could go without a shower if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, throughout the whole day. And maybe even at night and, and not really, really stink. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. Okay, well, I'm not, my, my sweat isn't offensive most of the time. To any woman, just well, I don't know about any woman because who cares about anyone? I'm talking about right. my woman. That's, you know what I'm that's cool. I, right. but I have never been in that you kind see of that, love. that alone. She, ooh, ooh, she, I think she just wooed from the other room. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, ask your friend, ask your ask your lady. I friends, will ask some friends. Do they like the smell of their guy? Like I will. Whatever. I've never, I, no, like I said, I've, I thought that it was just guys that like that smell. People I say something. I don't like feet. I, that's a that's a respectable. I don't like the Nobody says I don't like underarm. This is, I just don't. I mean, either either okay. Let me explain why. Okay. Either a guy is going to have a lot of hair under there and the deodorant is going to cake up. See, I don't do that. Or, as I dated a guy who shaved and it it, it just threw me. He shaved his whole body. It was Shave. super weird. Mm-hmm. To where it was bald under there, the, the chest, nothing was, no hair on the body. Mm-hmm. Even in the genital area, it, it looked like a big ass baby. So when you're saying shave, you're talking about like waxed, like soft? I think he took like... a, a, a razor to it. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I can't speak for every guy. I like trimming my body hair. I keep yeah, it low. Yeah, trimming is different. If it's shaved, it looks like a big ass baby. Well, I mean, you know, to each his own. But all yeah. I know is, is that regardless though, would you rather have a big caked up No, I, but, but I, I don't, but I, I just want it to look like a man. And when it, it's shaved what is totally, that? What it does that like, mean? Looks like a man. To me, I like kind of like a... Um, but you like, like a muscles. manly man, yeah. I like muscles and like a manly man, like. And you like taller guys too, so you can. Yeah, I like a muscular, taller like guy. The chest when they hug them. So is this, is this kind of like how I just like the chest to be padded. I, I don't like I it get to you, be bony. Stereotypical male, right? Maybe. Well, I mean, I'm saying that because of the podcast host of the females who said that she had sex with a black guy and she wanted to be the stereotypical black guy, like yeah. a thug. Right. So what she just did is the same thing, but we're going to let that go well, we, because I have a, all I have guys are hairy and tall and whatever. No, we, I said that I, right. I like the stereotype. I like a square jaw. <laughs> stereotypical. She said it herself. I do. We give people like hell for the shit jaw. that we do all the time. <laughs> I like a square jaw. I like muscles. I like a broad right. shoulder. I like a big hand. Because uh, all guys have big hands. No, they and don't. Dr- square I just like and, the ones that have those. But That's because those are, those are manly men. It's attractive to me. It makes no, me think of a man that actually could pick me up. I get you. But at first you said a manly man. That's you're, you're, a manly you're walking man to me. You're walking no, I'm back. not. To okay. me, that's the example of a manly man. So did you hear about the two white I did. Pock- And what? how did you feel about it? I just, I mean, I feel like it was in poor taste for her to say, but I do think we all think it. Well, you just said it. This, but- I do, but I'm black, so I can say it about you a black guy. You can't say that. And how I many just times did. You, how many times have you said- I just said it. How many times have you said a white person, like, oh, like a white, white person, like a really white person? I have said that. Same shit. one of my girlfriends that says she dates white guys, she's like, but I don't want like a black, white guy. I want like a white, white guy. Of course you have, because never, <laughs> everybody knows what she's talking about. Everybody knows. She's, she doesn't everybody want an urban. A stereotype. She doesn't right. want an Eminem. Or John B. She wants like a Brad Pitt. Right. See, you don't want one that's that's been seduced right. by urban culture. So, but how how can you in the same paragraph I say that you're seduced by urban culture? <laughs> seduced <laughs> by urban culture. Does that mean he likes a white guy that likes black women? Yes. Is that what you mean? Yes. But the throw up, the problem is you can't get a white white guy because a white white guy really wouldn't want a black girl. Right. He's you got to get one that he'll, kinda, he'll play with you, but he's not going to bring you home. Yeah, you want one that cuts his hair low like a fade, you know? You have to have a, if, if <laughs> you're going to you date want. a white guy, I can't believe I'm saying this. Oh, say if it. If you're going to date a white guy, then you got to have somebody rebellious that, like, ain't going to get no money from their family. True. Like, uh, uh, like an Eminem That's or, true. or MGK John B. or somebody. Yeah, John B dates black girls, you know? 
You don't want like one that accidentally ended up with a black girl. But how long? How old? How, why John V ain't married a black woman? He did. He, he did. did. Yeah. Who he married. He had a black wife, and he got divorced. And he got another one. Mm. He's married to her now. He's done basically. He's he's having a he's having a concert tonight. I wish I could go, but I'm super tired. Who opened up? Gary Owen. Don't do it. <laughs> Gary Owen had a black wife. He what? likes black women. And he looks like a white, white guy. I would never expect him to have like a black wife. I'm just wondering how you're comfortable in the same paragraph saying something about stereotypical or manly men and also I'm white so white people and then getting mad at somebody for saying a stereotypical black person. I didn't get mad. I said it, I said it was in poor taste to say mm. for her. You know, hold on, look, because I, I, people might not even know what the hell. Let me kind of pull that up so that I can... Uh, I mean, I think I think white girls think of the Mandingo when they think of what they want a black guy. They want the big, strapping, muscular, field... Negro. Right, but by you saying that Brad Pitt is a white, white guy, that's bullshit too. It's yeah, the same but you bullshit. Know what? Because I'm the underdog, I can say that. Oh, get okay? out of here. All right. Skinny get people can't talk about fat yes, people, they can. but fat people can, can, yes, can talk can. about skinny anybody people. Anybody no. can talk about anybody no. that's willing to take that punch. I just said punch. it was in poor taste. I didn't say she was wrong. I, we, we all know what she's talking about. And most importantly, those black guys that look like thugs are going to respond to her call and she'll be flooded with them. 50 cent looking types are going to hit her up. Immediately, <laughs> all the niggas look. They don't look for white girls. They be looking for white bitches. The hey, <laughs> man, it, it, it runs concurrent. Okay, so what it was was uh, two white podcast hosts uh, are receiving a lot of flack because they made statements that, well, matter of fact, it says complaining about sex with a black man who didn't act like a thug. <laughs> That's so, so ridiculous. <laughs> so these are, matter of fact, black men that act like, that don't act like a thug, these are the non-traditional black men that we spoke about before. The mm. Donald Glover types. The Steve Urkels. Oh, right. The, the The Terrence Howard. You ran into remember? that one. Yeah, just... Terrence just... Howard. Tay Diggs. Oh, oh. All of those. All of those kinds of guys. I think we're going right. to take him back off that room. We kind of like him. He's got a nice smile. Is Tay Diggs not on the, the no. white woman list now? He's married to a white woman. Yeah, no, but I mean, he's kind of, I mean, he's kind of sexy. I, I mean, I, it's not my type, but I can feel it, you know. He's and got see, a nice here's, smile. Here's the thing. Well, I'm, I'm not Howard, sure if you're aware. He's got a weird accent. That black women, <laughs> like, Black women kind of police that in a different way. So if you dated a white woman and black women knew, they will tear their friends and none of them will fuck with you. Mm. I don't know about that. So if you go white, you got to ride it all it's the way. It's not true. My ex-husband dated white women before me. And I still tried it. If he's cute enough, we'll try it. I'm okay with it. Mm. I would. I'm just tired. I'm a woman. Know. But you didn't even love him because you didn't like his smell. So you, I did. You, love you him. didn't love that dude. You had you had. I mean, you liked you liked him a whole. You like lo mm. like yeah. What does a thug smell like? Ah, uh, shit. I don't know. Uh, cologne like, and drug money. Hello, piled up, piled up clothes. <laughs> no drug money. Piled up clothes. Oh. You know how the project smell is. The piled up clothes like <laughs> like that outfit was no. on like layer twelve, and you pulled it out from the middle and it smelled like stale ass no, air. I think he I thought smells you was like. I was gonna say it smelled like the same outfit on the third day. It, no, it does, but it also has a little bit of fried, I think he smells fried like leisure. grease smell, like from the he fish fry. He smells like leisure too. and lots of uh, and and fresh money. You know, that's because usually they're like you know no. getting their money C- in other cigarellos, ways. Cigarellos, you know what I'm saying? It smells yeah, like cigarellos. Yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of fresh fish grease. Smell. I don't know what y'all talking about. It's a lot of dope, uh, dope boys that are fly as hell. Them niggas ain't okay. So smell here's like the weed, thing, right? Wings. There's only one percent of those that those people that are. Thugs. That's true, but the they, 99 but percent of thugs do not smell or look or I live don't never like that. I never come in contact with them. Well, sorry, the rest <laughs> of the world besides the one. I don't ever come into contact with those kind. Well, I'm sure that's not what she was talking about. She wasn't talking about the drug kingpin. What is her name? We should reach out to her. We are a pop. We are a friendly podcast. We would like to collaborate with you guys. What are the lady? What is their podcast name? Let me see here. I would love to talk to them about because I would love to talk to them about white guys and what I you know I think it all goes back to their fantasy about black men with sex and I would like to ask them about white men with their sex so we should collaborate. Okay. What do you mean white men and their sex? People have a stigma that white men are very good at oral sex with women because they they lack in the bedroom. However, I am here to say that I don't believe that, you know, size is contingent on race or culture. Just the blessings of God. I don't care what you believe. This isn't religion. It's I mean it's this just not penis. true. It's not true. It's just not true. Well, I mean, if you if you, if you believe not, that. I wish it were. I wish it were because then we would have less 
unsatisfied black women, but there are a lot of black men that are not. I just want to keep the those. same energy. If you're going to say that that's true, let's say I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm it's not true. I want I know. it to be. I'm agree with you. I'm saying to Kevin because he was about to object that. If we're going to say that that's the truth and it's just numbers, then we have to use the bell curve and IQ tests. Oh, but nobody, shit. nobody wants to do that though, right? Oh, we'll talk about dicks being bigger. Oh, we don't talk about IQs being lower though, because went someplace. I'm just saying, touchy, hey, your I don't tap your if, resident if, hotep. If you want to talk about IQs, <laughs> it's saying. gonna get offensive. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But dicks is too. Dicks it's are offensive gonna too. Get offensive. But what I'm saying is, dicks are offensive too. It's just not to you. So you're like, fuck it. We can talk about this. We got bigger dicks. Well, but they don't though. But, but, but and, 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 and white people aren't smarter. And white people, white people aren't smarter. I agree with that. I think it's all dumb. Right. There's no such thing. Now, if you're taught to the test, you're going to pass the test. Right. And if you're told that your penis is bigger, then you're going to believe that. But there are a lot of you all. <laughs> like, did you see Kevin's eyes? He's right. like, but it's true. Like, his eyes I mean, it may be true for him, but it's, right. not true. it's not true for all of them. There's a lot of hoteps talk, walking around with ain't, ain't, ain't holding nothing. Right. But their mouth. And I'm just saying. Hey, all the all the Egyptians had huge dicks. They weren't black. All though. The pharaohs. They weren't even black though. All I don't know. There's anyway, no what, are the, what are the podcast okay. people? So, name? <laughs> <laughs> so the the this podcast apparently is called Guys We Fucked. Oh, okay. Oh, this, is, this, is a, this is actually a big show. Then I, I've heard of that show before. You Ladies, heard of guys we, fucked? Okay. we love you. We want to talk to you. Corinne I want to know. And Krista Hutchinson. All right, Corinne, Christina Hutchinson. Excuse me. Corinne, that's a famous porn name. She's probably really good. Superhead's Corinne, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe that, that, yeah. that is a whole... I thought you was going to give me another Heidi Fleiss reference. No, I wasn't. You are, you are so in... You are like... You're a secret hornball. You're in there somewhere. You're You're, you're tucked deep, deep in those <laughs> layers. You pretend. <laughs> you come here and pretend like you're so... Oh, my you God, don't act guys. like you don't know Corinne Steffens was oh Superhead. Oh, my God, guys. Don't that's how you come start. here and act. But that's not who you don't are. Don't you do. Ones. That's why I say, man, the girls <laughs> wear chokers, and she purposely will not wear a choker in here. I wore a choker before. And I wore... I wore... Oh, my God, guys. That's how you come here trying to pretend like you are. We know. We seeing through you. I, everybody is is. I mean, this is this is a basic human need. So okay. I'm just saying, okay. yeah. But let's let's reach out to the girls on guys we fucked. I would love to be a resource for them and share with them my experiences with black men. I've never slept with a white man, but I would love to you know see what the differences are. I think the idea is that they're presenting the i they're presenting a picture of black people that is dangerous because yeah, it's not true. It's foolish. They're gonna get very disappointed. Well, no, not just that. I think it's because if they think like that, then all white people think like that. And well, we have to stop big that majority in this tracks. White people do. Yeah, but we yeah. know that white people think like that. Yeah. Even if they don't admit to it, we already know. And like, we think a certain didn't way say too. Nothing that we ain't already know. I think that I've heard guys say white white women are easier to to you know enforce your will upon. They They're don't not. talk back. And I and that's not true. I know some white girls that ain't with the, ain't right. with the shit. So yeah, I, I don't just, know that I don't know that white women are more submissive. They, they seem to be the ones that call the police quicker. <laughs> <laughs> or do some devious shit to you, like Poison you a little bit at a time. Not nah, or 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 tell <laughs> their daddy he raped me. That's ingenious. Right. Huh. But, See, but, mm, I don't want no white revenge. We need that. That's the thing. You can't We need sound effects. <laughs> what sound effects hey, do you put up some Yeah. yeah. So tell daddy you raped. Now That's how they get you back. Now there is a black woman who got somebody back pretty good. I don't know if you guys are are fans of Married to Medicine. And let me just say that I've worked with Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly, both very accomplished, amazing women. It's so strange to see all this type of tomfoolery on a show about doctors because you have an idea that doctors are like above reproach and they're like, you know, these sophisticated upper echelon That's people. An illusion. It's a very big illusion. But OK, so one of the doctors is I think his name is what is his name? George. Yeah. George Lunsiford, which is a really <laughs> strange name. Lunsiford. Or Lunsford. It, uh, I'm not really sure. That's my hesitation pronunciation. Okay. Can we pull both are, up? Both are kind of yeah. Let me pull up pull his actual name. But I think so. Anyway, because he just did an interview with Frank Ski. He did, and then the, and then his mistress came on and had an interview the next day. Now mm -hmm. there are so many things I want to say about this. You guys, you got to get into this story. So Quad is the one is the more popular spouse, right? Most of the females are the more popular spouses. So first of all, Quad was silent while Dr. Jackie husband obviously had an affair, became public. That happened on the last season, right? Before that, another doctor's husband, well, another doctor who was married to a, a, a I don't know, she's an entrepreneur, a lot of, does a lot of stuff, Lisa McCoy, her husband had an affair. Quad was quiet about that. In fact, actually, Quad kind of made fun of her about that. So now, 
Ladies, we know we should never make fun of someone whose husband cheats on them because there but for the grace of God goes I. It is Lunsford, Dr. Gregory Lunsford. Le- yeah, so not George, Greg, my bad, different G. Um, Gregory Lunsford, married to Quad. Quad is very outspoken, right? And now she's on a show called Sister Circle, which airs on TV One. So all these other men have affairs. Quad is like, girl, I can't imagine... You deserve better. Blah, 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 blah. Now, this season, well, at the end of last season, it comes out that Quad's husband was caught going into a motel with a woman, a younger woman, right? He and his frat brothers got together in the hotel with the woman. The woman now wants to become famous. So guys, please know if you have any amount of money or any amount of influence, your mistress now has the ability to become famous or get paid based on outing you. That should scare you, okay? That's the first thing. So he goes on V103 to explain that he didn't actually have sex with her um, because he's trying to, I guess, salvage his marriage. They're going through a divorce. Quad is all of a sudden very hurt. And she does not keep the same energy when talking to her friends. Now she doesn't want to talk because she's kind of, you know, not necessarily made fun of them, but she wasn't as sensitive as she could have been when they were going through that. So now she's going through it. She doesn't want to talk. She's very embarrassed. She's very hurt. Ah, right. All right. So <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. tired crystal is a different beast. You, you know can't. This, right? You yeah. can't be insensitive when your friends are going through something, and then when it happens to you, all of a sudden now you don't want to talk, and you're that's not fair. Every woman has the ability to go through this. This should be a lesson to all you women out there that think your husbands are beyond reproach. Every man is within the right to cheat. They just they, you just he just might not have done it yet, or maybe hadn't done it and got caught. So anyway. She goes on and she tells a different story. He says that he he messed around, went to the hotel, realized this is not me. I'm going home to my wife. Okay, valiant, valiant, Val- valiant. It looked, it sounded that way because he okay. speaks very proper, right? Okay. And you know, you want to believe him. He's right. kind Wasn't of nerdy. That, but you know what? Wasn't that the the plot to uh, I think I love my wife? <laughs> kind of, yeah. It, it is. It was, yeah, it was. It is. Ah, uh, we should be doing this. No, we shouldn't be doing this. Ah, but I want uh, to. My wife and I aren't having was, sex. But that was right. Carrie, that was Carrie Washington, though. You got to go and smash that. My wife wouldn't be mad. Well, you know. So this situation, <laughs> she goes on and she says that. Well, he says that he and his wife hadn't slept together in. I think two or three years. <laughs> Can we talk about that first of all? Well, I wanted to start with somewhere else. Are we done? Are we, are no, we done no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. So, so the she, whole thing. So yeah. she says that they went to the hotel, got in there. She didn't know who he was. She didn't know that he was a doctor. She didn't know that his last name and that he was on married to medicine or any of that. But she was willing to sleep with him. And then the only reason she didn't is because they started messing around. He performed oral sex on her. And then he didn't have a condom. And she was like, oh, no, I refuse to have sex without a condom. And then he says, okay. Then he starts again, still no condom. So he texts his friend and asks for a condom. The friend doesn't have a condom. So then he goes to the store to get a condom. At the store, he texts her back, you know what? I just need to go home. I'm good. So she comes and tells that story, right? I think both of them are telling the truth to an extent. But isn't oral sex like unprotected sex? I think so. Yeah. I'm just like, how are you? Okay. It's still sex. It so counts. her problem, my problem with her is it gets worse. So then she, then she says after he leaves, she sees his last name on the hotel room bill. She just has the notion to Google him, right? She Googles him, finds out that he's on Married to Medicine and is a doctor. She is just abhorred that this married man wanted to have sex with her and goes home to his wife. So she reaches out to the wife and tells her everything, but tells the husband, I won't tell if you give me $1,500. That's it? That's my point. Man, what the hell are we doing, women? Give that woman a check and sign an NDA. <laughs> I would have gave her that so quickly. What? Oh, $1,500? my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me stop at the ATM. I'll be right back. <laughs> and, and you, know, check. you can't get, you can't get $1,500 at the ATM. Yes, you, you can. You got to call the bank. Hey, I, I'm going to make it. It's nighttime, though, but you can be like, chick, Man, look, I have an emergency. Buckhead, you can't get $1,500 You just got to call the bank. I have an emergency. I'm going to need more than the $700 women. Look women. at you. You can. Will you can. do an electronic check or something. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Right. We're all agreed. No, 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 no. Nah, cash. <laughs> with, with, I don't even cash. Yeah, you're right. Okay. With an NDA, no a handy NDA, check. and right. a pen, so. and a smile. This chick, who is only requesting $1,500, <laughs> she's a waste. I, and I sat there looking at her. She needed more. I could tell just by looking at her. She needed more oh, wow. money. Of course. She, she needed she more. She she could get that. 
She wasn't sure that she. She was just that. looking at my rent and a couple of dollars to get back out and find another hey, one. All right. Hey, I just need. Nick. I ain't trying to fuck nothing up, nigga. I just, you know. Fifteen hundred dollars. Let me take care of this abortion. And a lot of girls do that. Actually, let me be they for say real. They got pregnant to yep. get the money. Oh, I'm pregnant. I need seven hundred dollars for this abortion. <laughs> mm. You'll you never know see guy, me again. You know a guy is going to fork that over Yeah, they done finessed a couple niggas out of that shit. Hell, it's probably somebody on Craigslist right now selling a pregnancy test. Women, mm. Pregnant women do that. They piss on sticks all day long and I sell them. I did not know business. that. Why didn't anyone tell me that about 21 years ago? That's how a lot of niggas get trapped. That's why they be... Damn it, man. And women be so offended when the guy doesn't want to claim the child. Say it again, offended. I like the way you so said that. So offended. <laughs> hey. That was funny. You got to you gotta know who you're dealing with. That is... Parent, so, so it was the hotel bill that gave him away. It was the hotel... And she just thought, let me Google him. She's a lie, yeah. like, in the devil. She's a lie in the truth. She, she knew who that nigga was. So is that the end of that the... That is the end of the story. Okay. So she so she said that, and, and Frank and Wanda were like, so really, Possible. you didn't know? So what's the result then after that interview? Okay, now, a few things. Wanda and several other people, no, not Wanda, Miss Sophia asked, was he gay? So I'm asking you guys, what man doesn't sleep with his wife for two years? And if you haven't slept with your wife for two years... Are you wrong for sleeping with a chick at a hotel? Two years. Two. No. No, there's no way possible I'm saving my dick for two years. <laughs> you can masturbate. No, fuck mm. that. No, 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 no. Two years? No. And, I, and I'm, I worked to be a doctor. This is, the, this is the bullshit you always tell us. Guys that have such and such and such, they work really hard. They get good jobs. Like and that. They get good jobs so they can have women. That's how they get women. That's true. So you're telling me is I work lie? all this time? Where's the lie? Where is the lie? But you're saying I work all this time and I'm still going to be celibate? No. I don't know what's going on. No, sir. This is the thing. From I, And I didn't hear the whole story, but I heard something about the fact that on their wedding night, she moved out of the bedroom. She I heard that. Room. We don't know if that's true. That's he didn't rumor. conform or deny and that. you know what? Let me, because... Uh, um, Spit it out. I went to school with Quad. Okay. All right. So we're, we're both alumni of, of mm-hmm. Tennessee State. So my, and Rico Chappelle. And she, she's always... Right. Rico as well. Mm-hmm. Um, a, a lot of us. There's a ton of us out here that are, that are doing well. But... Um, Only 10? God damn, that my school alu- my, my, lo- <laughs> my loyalty lies to Quad's never been um, less than the best towards me. And so... This, what I nationality is Quad? What name is that? What kind of name is that? You mean what nationality? I've, I've just never heard that? that name, but that's a unique name. Mm-hmm. What? Why what are you smiling? Where are you going? What is a full name? No, your eyes are smiling. Because that's a weird uh-huh. name. I'm just asking. What's that's right. weird. Is What's that a full is name? That a short it's quad name? something. It's not just quad. Oh, it's not just quad. Because quad is like four. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> What's the full name? That's then? true. You're you're making a face like that's not an odd name. That's uh, an odd what name. What is the full name? No, nah, because you, what you're going at, what I feel like you're going at, is the the ghetto name. What is the full oh, name? So she, Quisha. What is it? What is her, what's her name? What you don't, is you don't the know? full name? Huh? You don't know, know, or you're not going to tell us. He doesn't know <laughs> the full name. <laughs> he doesn't know the full name. I'm pulling it up. What is the full name? Because it's not quad. That's funny. That ain't that ain't what her, her degree say. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I won't do it. Quad is just an odd name. Yeah, I don't believe it. And for it, a doctor yeah, to choose somebody named Quad. And, and, on, and online, <laughs> it, it doesn't have another name. I think she has dirt on him. She has to. To be he, able to I, move out I, of the bedroom the gay? night of. I've heard that he's gay. I've gay. heard that he's gay. Why would he Quite be in, a bit. Why would he be in the hotel with a, a mistress then? I know. That's that's what threw things off. But the what, mistress said the mistress said that he was he was very, very small, not well endowed at all. And yet she was still willing to sleep with him, not knowing his last name and not knowing that he and was on- And it's a one night stand. Yeah, not knowing that he was on uh, uh, Married to Medicine or a doctor, a small guy with a penis that you think is lame, but you're still willing to sleep with him. Women Girl. be Googling the hell out <laughs> on of- On a one night stand. Like as far as her not knowing who he was, okay, maybe you didn't. However, the chances are that you actually didn't. Are slim. She's lying because she was. It I was think there she for had a frat hunch. and that she was there with another girl, and the girls with his friends. She knows that that man is married and that he's a doctor. No, number one, she knows he's a doctor. Number one, she knows. How he's does he a look? Doctor. Is he a weird looking guy too? He looked like a goober. So why did Quad, quad air quotes Quad, <laughs> want to get with him? <laughs> that was who she chose. Come on, man, she's in love. See, you, sh- you shouldn't have said you knew. Chose. You shouldn't have said you knew her, Crystal. No, she, just, she in love. She chose. I don't think so. She's never seemed to me just watching the show. I, and again, I've worked with Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly. I've only been around her. It didn't ever. She never seemed to me that she was in love. She definitely wouldn't. Does she talk about her husband sweat. a lot? 
No. She did talk about the fact that she lived a very lavish lifestyle. Oh, okay. So, okay. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just giving you information. You can, you can draw, I, the, you I can have, connect those dots however you want. I have no commitment or connection to any of these people. I can't find a real name on here, but I know there's a real I have name. no connection to any of these people, so I don't care. Right. I don't have, I'm not connected either. Kevin is that, the only that one that whole is quad a quad doctor relationship sounds iffy to me. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. First of all, if you haven't fucked your man in two years... I can't be mad. I certainly wouldn't be crying. If he's cheating on you, and I that's not even cheating. That's not cheating. That's it, him transitioning. You... <laughs> he's transitioning. I think anybody, anybody that's not connected in a relationship, you can't be surprised. Like, if you're right. not feeding your man, then don't surprise that he's gone elsewhere. And get if a plate, you're not get feeding your woman, don't be surprised either. Yeah. Foolishness. Like, mm-hmm. people need to have sex if they're in relationships. And you know or they what? Need to get the hell out one of thing, them. one thing that I don't think that women acknowledge is that sex is a way to relieve stress for True, men. True, for women too. So, like a lot of times, like like you blame the guy. Oh, he's cheating on me. He's a terrible person. Sometimes it just does. That nigga can't talk to you. He needs his medicine. The nigga need his medicine. I so do women. Women need medicine as well. Mm-hmm. Everyone needs medicine. All these men like, oh, I'm gonna do it for one time. That time's gonna be like seven you go minutes, find and I'm gonna go to else sleep. And have some angry sex. Yeah. So what about Quad though? So she's not been having sex for two years too, right? I guess she's just an angel. Apparently, I, that's that's what the math <laughs> would no. do. <laughs> no. That's what the math would With do. This use... woman named Quad. <laughs> hey. An, an extremely aggressive name like Quad is not sitting at <laughs> an home. An aggressive personality. She's not sitting at home. Like, you know. Uh, there are some people that are not very sexual. 27. I'm still. <laughs> no. Maybe she's just not a sexual woman. Come on. She may not be. <laughs> Her name is Quad. It's too aggressive. What the, oh, that's funny. That don't mean. And she chose that. Because obviously that's Kevin, not her full name. do you name. believe that your classmate has been celibate for the last two years? Do the, are Shit, the 10 I, of you I all celibate? Or are all of you guys... <laughs> that's something that they teach you at Tennessee State? What? To be celibate during marriage? I don't think any any school teaches you that. <laughs> Why would you ask me that You question? sound so defensive, <laughs> Kevin. What is Kevin short for? <laughs> I've got myself in a pickle. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know you knew her, but now that I do... I just, I, again... Ladies, what would Quad I go do? back to my 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 statements from a few weeks ago. If we're gonna be selling it, we're gonna have to put a more a, a, a better retail price on the package. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Come that's, on, man, you're giving him a price of a of a. I don't know. I, I, okay, let's let's figure this out. Hold on, wait a second. You said you looked at that girl and she looked like she needs more she money. She needed more than 1500 I need more than 1500 right. Everybody needs more than 1500 So what makes you think she's going... What makes you think she's going to, like, what's she supposed to command? 10 it's, grand? Okay, it's, something. It's not a about regular first of all, working the price. Dude. The price Yo, is not according to your kitty cat. She was supposed to get $140. Mm-hmm. That is the going rate. He is married and on a television show. That what? increases, that ups the ante, my she friend. She doesn't know that. No, we have to. We have she to. Get, know no, that. we have to. We have to make a. What what she's doing is illegal. That's what it's extortion. That's illegal. So yes. you don't ask for fifteen hundred dollars when you're breaking the law. No, that's a waste of fucking time. If you're gonna a regular working dude could probably come up with fifteen hundred. That's my point. If it's close to payday. If he's you know making, what I'm saying, or he can do it in two payments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can do it in two it's payments. It's close to payday. No, he can. He may be able to come up with fifteen hundred. So you. that's how we doing pussy now. I could cash up you next Friday. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. <laughs> if a guy knows that this woman could potentially harm, break up his family. And all I want is fifteen hundred dollars. Not only am I going to give it to you, I'll give you another payment on uh, two or three months from now when I need to re up. That's nothing. And you know, and it's see, pennies see, on the pennies on the goes. punani. That fifteen hundred dollars ends up becoming a down payment. And you know what, fellas, uh, it's about time we start doing something about it. It's an NDA because Kirk. That's how Kirk from uh, Kirk and Rashida. That's how Kirk got caught up. He tried to go on and pay the chick off real quick. But all did right. he ever sign an Keep NDA? That under the rug. Did he have her sign an NDA? NDA he don't matter. Anymore. Anymore. Nobody gives right, a shit about Because er, now, because in the in the age of social media and the internet, everyone wants to tell their story. But I Every, know one thing: I would have her sign a non a non disclosure agreement, and it does matter because if she shares it, then I can sue her. Yeah, but she ain't got shit. If she's to my fifteen hundred, but it'll shut she her can't up. Afford she can't afford no attorney. She'll go to jail. He paying for her attorney. He better off not saying shit. It's not shit. even a felony. It's only fifteen hundred. Like she, she got a misdemeanor That's extortion. Why I'm she should have really went in at least five. Maybe she's nah, smart man. as fuck. No, no, no. Maybe she's smart as hell. She's like, yo, this is a misdemeanor extortion. If I just keep hitting this nigga for fifteen hundred every time, as long as I space it out six months at a time, like I can never get the felony charge. She probably Did was you gonna... see her? You think she that smart? I haven't seen her. Have you seen I'm gonna her? pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up. She's on YouTube. 
Yeah, she's on YouTube. She's talking about it on YouTube. She's being, mm-hmm. and again, Maybe. I'm not, I'm not hating my sister because obviously I'm here with sex just, hair. She, but I'm just saying, she, <laughs> her, her we, her, she needed. You in a hotel needed, last night? No, I, I just came from a day. polo match today. Polo match. This would polo not match. look like this if I had. Were you the rider or the horse? <laughs> <sighs> I'm pulling her up because I want you guys to no look answer. at the girl and yeah. see mm-hmm. um, if you think that she could use some additional money. I would love to talk to her. Who doesn't need additional money? Everybody I needs really did. Money. I know. That's, that's why that's that's J.G. Point. Wentworth commercial plays <laughs> for years. You know, everybody needs I want my money now. <laughs> I want my money now. <laughs> right. I want it now. The mistress, but I'm just saying, like, you know, the stakes are high. Not it's only embarrassing she know, well, if your husband has a I mistress that comes out and talks to Frank and Wanda. It That's is embarrassing. embarrassing. I think not only did she know who he was and what he was capable of paying, but obviously I, she didn't because she just she asked for the tax on what the normal payment would be. That was the tax <laughs> the on no, it. What's the normal payment? I would say at least five thousand. I would say at least five thousand. I wouldn't go in and think asking for anything less normal? than five thousand. That's not shit either. Less than five thousand. Like, come on, man. But I'm just saying, like. Come on, maybe you don't want to. Could she probably need some more money, right? No, she doesn't look broke. Does no, she? I don't think she's bad. I think she's. A you cute know what? Girl. You're probably right about. It. Just think about it. Some I, I, this girl asked me for five grand one time. Talking about her grandmother was sick. Five grand is a good like, round number. What the fuck? It's is, a good healthy right. number. What's she paying for? Dialysis. Nigga, she lived in the hood. Her apartment, it's a good her apartment was six fifty. It's a good start. Why do you need five grand? Your apart, your rent is six fifty. Well, she probably paid for her rent. And that was it. But she wasn't thinking about the future. Wow. Got to yeah. think about the future. Oh, uh, but uh, my my problem is both of these women, Quad and this. What's her name? Does have her name there? No, it says Mistress. Mistress, Quad and Mistress. <laughs> Why are they dealing with this dude who obviously has awful sex? Yeah, because if she waited two years, if she's waiting him out for two years, it can't be great. And she's saying, no, "Oh, that's true. It was so little. It was you know." Yeah, but she was willing to do it, not knowing about him. Come on, man. Mm. Bless her heart. What if? Can you know? Is there is there anyone? Did you have you dated anyone in your lifetime that has made you wait for sex? What about ninety days? <laughs> no, not two years. What about just? You mean a, days, like officially wait, days. or it just happened? It happened. It took a while. You know what I'm saying? Like mm, there's either. a difference. Like if you don't get to see the person very often, something mm-hmm. like that, it, time could pass. But you're talking about like specifically, we have opportunities. Like no, no, not yet. Like that, never. Okay. Have you ever made somebody wait like that? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. How'd that work out? Didn't work, obviously. <laughs> I bet your hair didn't look like that <laughs> anytime afterwards. I think I think it's I think nowadays everyone knows, all women, you you guys know now that if you tell a dude to wait, he is gonna say okay. But right. he's also fucking a lot of other women while he's waiting yeah, on you. Yeah, and right? he's probably gonna just hold it against you later. Yes, and then when he do fuck, if it, yeah. it's not stupendous, is your Why is it ever not stupendous though? I wouldn't know about that. You know what? That's probably why. That's probably why the girl was so willing to have sex with him on the first night, one why? night stand, because she knew she was gonna catch him. That's how relationships start. I, you know what? I have a good friend who told me that if I want to get a guy and I want to have a great relationship, I just need to have sex immediately, like as soon as we meet, and. Have sex with him a lot so he'll get used to it. Because he said guys are creatures of habit. And if that becomes his habit, that he's always having sex with me and I'm always feeding him, eventually he'll be like, damn, this is just what I'm doing. And they'll be like, Chris was your girlfriend. He's like, God no, told no. You that. Yeah, because he after a guy told her that. That's yeah. not shit I would not, say. Yeah, I, <laughs> that don't sound like and real. I told him I, I got <laughs> mad at him. like, And I didn't speak right. to him anymore about relationships. Right. And then after my last relationship failed, he was like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, she just had sex immediately, and just he said, you know, next you thing you know, in immediately. He said, next thing of... you know, we don't even. He said, we're stupid. We're just like, oh, this is just what I'm used to doing. I get used to it, kind of get addicted to the sex and the food, and then I'm next thing I'm, I'm in a relationship. If you're having sex with someone and you don't like the, if you you have sex immediately and you don't like the sex. Chances are that relationship is not going to go forward, and both of you kind of know it. And y'all no, just... because the problem is sometimes not. It would be great if both people didn't like the sex, but oft times one person does, the other person doesn't. Nope, I think you need to have a conversation. Most times, neither people do. Really, one person pretends. Well, then why does the person keep doing it again and again? Because one person is like, "Well, I can be fucking nothing or fucking this." Right. Damn. It's something about guys that make you go like, why don't I want this? Like, what? Like, <laughs> I don't really like I it, could, but I should. Like, I could smash. You know what I'm saying? It's I just should like, smash. 
there's like something's wrong with me if, if I, don't I don't want smash. this sex. You guys don't like it. feel it or recognize it when it's just not compatible. Like when it's just not working. I do. Right. You have so to. so I think, I think it's impossible. It. I, I think it's impossible for either one of those parties to think, oh man, this was we this, this I have a working. guy that I did not think I did not feel like that. And he really does feel like he keeps coming, he tries to come back. He feels like we're supposed to be together. I know it was not. You whipped that, it on him? That might not be I about sex though. You did. You Maybe. whipped it on him. Is he a younger guy? No. You did the Marcus, darling? No, actually. No, never mind. You put no. a little cougar on him? No. This is not it. Nope, that's not it. No it's normal. Oh, we're average, same age. Nope. Rare. So <laughs> how, how does this end then? Two years, no sex. Now they're together still? No, they're divorcing. They're divorcing. And, and she's he's so still angry. No, he's getting some. No, Is he getting it from a man, though? No, I don't think so. Uh, he wouldn't have been in the hotel. Serious? He wouldn't have been in the hotel with a woman. You think it was a publicity stunt? No. I'm not gay. And he's bisexual. What? Why? Why Maybe. are we doing this to this guy? No, he I'm probably just asking has. Questions. He's probably he's probably uh, something in. I don't know him personally. Have you seen him? Something I have seen him. Okay. And something about his energy tells me he's a goober. Like women know. But what does a goober mean? Just. A bit of a softy, a pushover, right? And a yes, man. Women know. Women know when they got a lion, and women know when they got a lamb. If it's a doctor, and, and he's I think a his lion. energy, although he may command a certain dollar because of his profession, his energy gives off he's a little bit. Do you more know there's so many women out there looking for a lamb of a doctor? He's no, a well, hot well the white girls apparently want the lion. We don't care about them. I'm talking they about want sisters. The rawr. Talking about black girl magic that has bills that need to be paid and want to live a certain lifestyle. If y'all so fucking magic, why y'all need your bills paid? Do a, a abracadabra. <laughs> do a abracadabra on your rent. Poof. Hmm. Some. What kind of magic is? Why needs? spend your money if you can spend your husband's money? No, that's money. called selfish. No, yeah, it, it is. is. <laughs> that's, that's it cool. is. If it's, it's your totally husband, selfish. it's you guys' money together. Oh yeah, then why mm. you ain't spending yours? I am saving it for a rainy day. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Selfish Black girl ass. magic. Oh my gosh. I'm That's... just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I believe in teamwork. Teamwork. Uh-huh. Teamwork makes a dream work. No, nah, don't, don't feed me your, your together narrative. It's true. I really your do believe that. Your actions aren't matching your words. I don't believe my actions getting... are. I just finished dating someone that was definitely not benefiting me financially. I don't believe they're getting a divorce. They are. I don't believe it. I think she can upgrade now. She's now? on a television show. She's more popular. She's trust me. There's a lot of men with money that are just out she there. Could. Yeah, she's up great now. She could. But she lived lavish or whatever you were saying, right? Well, he was a doctor and he was doing very well. He's still well. a doctor. He's still doing very well. Yeah, but there's mm-hmm. other ones now. Her, her, her. The show has put her in a different position. I guarantee you, she's moved on to the next one. Portia is now pregnant by some rich. Uh, Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta is now pregnant by some very rich African. People are upgrading. That's is is that the black girl magic? Fucking rich dude. Maybe getting one to marry. That's not very magic. That's an illusion. Whatever it That's is. That's sleight of hand. It's Ta-da, what she wanted. Nigga. But it's what she <laughs> wanted, though. It depends on what your, some people's black girl magic is. It's just in getting what you want. So my black girl magic is getting a Or other, other, in other, on. AKA selfish. I think you call that like no. getting what you want, AKA no. selfish. Mm-hmm. Right. No, no, no. Black guys or men are looking at what, getting what we want. Black women are like, what can I get? Black women, black men are yeah. going after what, what can we get? This poor doctor. What are he, you talking this about? This poor doctor's dick has been dry for at least two years. He finally, he, he ventures you know out what? into the world and, I bet and there finds him. a lot of him. nice women. First of all, doctors are hot He finally ventures out he in the world. A certain he finds type of him woman. a woman in a hotel. He tries to give her some oral sex and this bitch ain't even grateful. <laughs> she gonna make him go get a condom. He's like, I'm a doctor, bitch. I got clean dick. <laughs> this is sterile dick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I put this little two-inch dick in you and stop complaining. You won't even feel it. She had, but she had the nerve. No, no, you got, he know, she know ain't no damn condoms fitting that dick. You know what? That's probably true. That is probably true. I suggest, I think I could make a money maker <laughs> here. I suggest, I suggest that men with small, I think that Magnum needs to make a Magnum that says Magnum on the package, but inside is a pistol. So then men can still feel confident going up to the counter she doesn't know her with guns a ma- very well. is a pistol small? A uh, Magnum is a pistol. Right. But yeah. oh, damn. Okay. What's the small? What's the difference? Uh, small. 22. Okay. I, I, I got the gist. <laughs> okay, the gist. A Derringer. Is, <laughs> a Derringer. <laughs> a Derringer. Yeah, so put in 22. So put a 22 is what pew, I'm thinking. Pew. pew pew. So put it in a Magnum package because people are buying Magnums that don't need them. And then that means it's going to be ineffective and means that you're going to be embarrassed, hmm. right? So I think that this is a great marketing tool that that Magnums, is that a, 
or Trojan, Trojan should Trojan, use. Yeah. Because no man wants to really be honest about the size of his penis. But then when he goes to buy it and he buys, I think every guy buys magnums and every guy does not need does, them. If I go to buy some magnums and there's some little bitty finger joints in there, <laughs> I, I want the finger I'm joints. I'm going to be pissed but off. It needs to be I'm a different going color. right back to CVS. It needs to be a different color. This Get is, my money. This Make is them. funny. This is funny. You're, you're saying that every guy buy, buys magnums? I Seriously? promise you. Every guy you ever dated bought you, magnums. I promise you. We, <laughs> That's and I've hilarious. Talked to this, I've talked to other girls about this. And... Because they they, they <laughs> I've seen someone take one out. Thing, but she might be on I'm so right. serious. Take it out, yeah. and you be like, "Now nah, you know, good and dang well." Every guy buys. Magnums. Every guy you've dated bought magnums. That is hilarious. It's the truth. That's hilarious. They only want they they and and they're That's not your necessary, faults. huh? That's your fault. Mm-hmm. That is totally your fault. We're built to lie. Who's your women? women. What? Women, we're built to lie. We have to make you guys feel like things are great even when they're not. It's our it's in our nature. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> hilarious. It's true. Oh man! Hey guys, don't buy magnums. It, Come on, man. Put it, magnum. If you don't, if you don't fit a magnum, it needs don't to be buy a, a magnum gold and a magnum bronze. There is magnum levels. There's XL and there's, I want there's tiny ones. Okay, but still no, with the same don't name. do that. No. Don't call it magnum. What are we gonna do? Well, what are we gonna do? Because this, because what I'm gonna share with you guys is something very personal. Okay. You guys are gonna make fun of me before, but I don't do care. Do it in the mic. I want to make sure we get I this. I feel we like this. women need to. They, there, there, there was a situation where someone wore a magnum. It was not the right size, and it 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 dislocated from the situation. Mm-hmm. The penis slipped right out mm-hmm. of the magnum that didn't fit. That's what happens. It, it ain't I like Miss some... Sophia's pants. They don't fit all. <laughs> so I'm saying, I mean, so he was embarrassed. Er. So did you get pregnant? No. Okay, because this is said personal. Damn, yeah, you it was just personal. missed out on seven hundred dollars. You should have get, get fifteen hundred dollars out that nigga. I should have. <laughs> I should have told him. But I mean, I didn't. Keep, I didn't keep going. We didn't keep going. But it was just a. It was a very embarrassing. You didn't put another moment. one on. I mean, no. At that point, it was just. It was really awkward. It was very. So awkward. like, it, it made it stop. It made it. It made it come to it. Like, so it just what act you're like saying it's is, like, you didn't tell me he was in it, and the condom <laughs> slipped off, and it was like the record. <laughs> Screw. Yeah, because it was like, oh man. Did everybody know? It was just me and him. We didn't have a room full of people. <laughs> What are you into, Chris? What I'm saying, like, <laughs> what is she fucking into? What are you talking like, oh my about? god, guys, that sex? No, sex is nasty. But then you I, I said it was there just, weren't a room full of people. Because you and said is that, you, a, is that a is that a, is that no, like a possibility? Try, don't like, try me. You said you said what did every, did everybody else know? There was no everybody else. I mean, did everybody know? Like the people involved, you and him, did both yes. parties know? Yeah. Because like I'm kind of as broken before. Were, what if they no, were just trying to sneak no, around and do and have sex in a public place? Understand? It did not break. No, I understand. It just no. What I'm saying is, I kind of. Has broken on me before, and I kept going. And no. you're like, whoa, 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 wow. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what, the sound. That's, yes. That's, if she didn't know anything no, else, she'd be like, what, what's you wrong with you? What are you doing? No, sound effect. I'm not going to go clown? into it. Fucking right. me? What is this? Those are the clown fucking I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> yeah. That's what they felt really. <laughs> so, but you know, she didn't. sipped off, it's like, whoop. Yeah, but like, how did they know? He knew. How did she know? I mean, I, not she, you. I knew because it was just the way that things were happening. It was very obvious. And then he was embarrassed, and I was embarrassed for him. It was just a weird moment. So it was fully erect and still came off. It slid out like a... a, a like a, a samurai sword in a sheath. Just totally just wrong <laughs> No, not even shoot, like man. that. Like a, like a Tootsie ban- Roll like a in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Snickers package. Just, it just, it just Awful. It did, yeah, it was horrible. You saw like though a banana peel for some reason. But you saw no, yeah. no I'm t- it was nothing Whip. gripping on any side of that. When you saw him pull out a magnum and you saw his dick. I remember thinking to myself, "Oh Jesus, bless his heart." But I didn't <laughs> but I didn't know that was going to happen. I just I knew there was going to be a lot of extra um <laughs> Extra plastic. What is it? What is extra it? foam you, rubber. Listeners, you don't know she's doing something with her hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just mean it's going to be a lot of extra material, but I didn't realize it was going to be ineffective. So we got to fix this problem. Magnum's got to start making smaller no. condoms. Dude just got to stop buying into that thing uh, that women do. They can't because yeah, they every can. guy wants it's to... It's your s- fault. Women don't like condoms anyway. Y'all... Who every, likes condoms? Y'all want to take the condoms I, I don't off. wear condoms. <laughs> You have been very honest about that. Are You're ridiculous. also in the safety of a marriage. It's very, it's very, very, if very I were a dangerous. Cheater, that's the here. way to do it. It's, it is. I mean, it is. But that's the, the rest of us it. out here are swimming. Cover your bets. We don't. We don't have any choice but to use a condom. I wouldn't if I were single. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, y'all gamble with a lot of shit. Don't pretend like sex is the. Oh, we got to be careful here. We got to be careful. Right. 
People gamble with a lot of shit in their but that, lives. That, that can potentially cause a lot of things. Soaking a lot what? of things. You drink, you do drugs, you drive. I don't do any of those <laughs> yes, things. Yes, you do. I more drive. people, more people, mm-hmm. more people die from drugs. car accidents than die from sex. Oh, God. But you still drive every day. You don't got to. How many times have they told you the the rate of AIDS in Atlanta is 99% or something shit like ridiculous. that? Like, Everybody in Atlanta has AIDS, is herpes, gay, syphilis. AIDS, herpes. <laughs> Come We're on, all yo. dead. We're dead. It's we're just zombies. Bullshit. It's the land of it's this just. So you gotta be careful dead. out there. You gotta watch. I mean, ah, we're not suggesting people don't be careful, but I'm just suggesting that people get condoms to fit their size. And I don't want men to be embarrassed because I want them to have confidence when they walk up to buy their condoms. But I'm asking Magnum. I mean, I'm asking Trojan or what's the other one? Um, uh, Trojan. There's some type of other lifestyle. Lifestyle. Direct. Mm. Please make condoms that look big on the outside for men that are very small. Well, lifestyles so are better. the worst kind. I, I'm assuming lifestyle is probably the worst kind. Those well, are the, I just those are always little, broken. I've only balloons. been with black guys, and they've only they always use Magnum. Well, I mean, so Magnum is new though. Magnum Magnum hadn't been out forever. I, I'm trying to remember what year Magnum came out. That had to have been what the hell. Magnums are new. Who are you? What do you mean? How long have you been having sex? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're like, well, that's back in the history of condoms. You know, the, the very first condom. Like, no, really? Magnums are kind of new, though. I, I'm trying to say, like, late 90s. Did you late start 90s. with Magnums? Like, what are you talking about? Late, late 90s, I'm thinking. I don't think there was Magnum before, like, 98, I don't think 99. I started with Magnums. No, I you didn't I, have. I, think I, had my, I didn't have my first sexual experience with Magnum. There weren't. There were Trojans now. Trojans yeah, have been around I think before. Trojan I was, was the more known brand. But Magnum, that is a newer thing. Oh, okay. Like the Gold Pack. Because you know, Trojan started making flavors. There was like lamb skin and like That's rib. Not flavor. That's you, know, t- you know what I'm saying? Though <laughs> lamb skin <laughs> and ribbed and uh, French tickler type shit. Like they started That's doing all that stuff. And then textures. they did make it sound like barbecue though. You nigga. did you got like lambs, it was strawberry you got ribs, nigga. Like you it was got, for oral. No. They graduated to Magnum. But to satisfy what you, I don't. But do y'all remember those like those uh, in sex ed class where they had the condom? They stretched it over their entire arm. Like that's bull, Magnum is bullshit anyway. All I know is that if you're very small, you don't need that. Don't do it. You only Stop need one condom. Madness. You don't need a Magnum condom. You only need a regular. Even if you got a big like if somebody if your dick is bigger than than somebody's arm to their elbow and it still fits in a regular condom, what is Magnum doing for you? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, all this shit is uncomfortable. Now, if your dick, is, not, if your dick is that big, don't wear a condom at all. Because what, the, like, no. Just stop wearing condoms. Because <laughs> Who, anyway. who's going to fuck you with a dick that big? <laughs> okay. I, I, all I know is that people are <laughs> okay. very small condoms are, I mean, very small penises are buying big condoms. <laughs> it's just like if I just put on a double D bra, like just just titty hanging. It's just air and titty in there. Like in the no. slack room, you uh, you guys, I know Kevin is in the slack room for the No Nonsense Show, which is another show on the yeah. network. And we, they tease you for not joining. Yeah, in they the say room, you're man. too bougie to be in the slack. No, room. I just and, I'm not good with technology, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, hold on yeah, Chris. Yeah. I want to get your opinion on this though. Okay. One of the people who was in the slack room said she actually enjoys having sex with dudes with smaller dicks, not small, but smaller because it's perfectly hitting. It perfectly hits the G spot when she rocks. Is there, is there any truth I, I, to that? I've I don't know anything that about that. Um, I've never... I, Do you know I, that you have a G-spot? Of course. Okay, you said you don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about small ones hitting the G-spot. Not small, smaller. I dated this guy one time and he told me that <laughs> his ex-girlfriend told him that she liked the fact that he was smaller because his was fun size and could hit all the good points. Did I have that experience with him? No. <laughs> what points was she talking about? I don't know. But he I, told I just, you that she said that. Yeah, he did. She didn't say that. Why would he? He said fun size, <laughs> and I thought fun size sounds like a small Snickers on Halloween. <laughs> I didn't like it. I already That's I was why like, I uh, further know that she didn't say that. I was just like, why That's, would he tell me that? Like, why would he tell uh, me that before did we had he say sex? It with the perky voice, like it's fun size. He, he actually did. He yeah. showed, showed his See, shoulders grow when he said he was a fun? bodybuilder. He sold the oh, hell wow. out of that little dick. He really did. Did he have a little dick, or was his body just too big? No, it was equally. <laughs> Body was big mm-hmm. and penis was small. Fun size. That's crazy. He did say that. I mean, I literally, I literally thought of like, I mean, people call short girls fun size. Like, right, right. that's not because that's because you can bounce them around, pick them up, and spin well, only them. if they're really small. But the only, only if other they're point skinny, of like if they're thick and short. Oh, like a square. Like me, I'm okay. thick and short. Like you're not gonna really be able to throw me around. I mean, maybe if you're strong, Shit. I like that. I, well, hey, hey guys, challenge accepted. Hey guys. He's like challenge accepted. Shit. Hey guys. 
Yes. I'm not getting no back shit. Like I don't do it. Don't yeah. don't, don't 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 don't. You know what? <laughs> shut up. You <laughs> shut your mouth. You hear me? You shut your mouth. What's going up? Girl? Like, what's wrong? I'm with not you? getting the He's back problem. Throw You're my shit out sciatica and shit in my leg. <laughs> 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 shit, sure, do drink yeah. water. Which is getting you gonna get Charlie? I'm so fucked. Gotta go get acupuncture after fucking. Shut up. Get away, man. I'm in it like Ving Rhames. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. If you can't support yourself, here's here's the thing. If she, <laughs> what's, what's funny? You know, some women they they will when they ride, right? They'll do like maybe five, six, seven, ten, fifteen tops, and then they get off. Like they'll stand up on the flat on their feet mm-hmm. and ride. But after about fifteen, they like nope, and they go back down to their knees or whatever. <laughs> if you can't do that for more than fifteen, I'm not picking you up because obviously you can't support you. You can't support you, so I can't support you. <sighs> That makes sense. You know how backs don't heal after you get a certain age. <laughs> backs don't heal. That's just forever. You now just I got be that sore. Forever. You got to take gotta go to the chiropractor. You got to go to the chiropractor. You got to take yeah, baby man. aspirin for the rest of your life <laughs> to pick this chick up. I had an injury on my horse and my back. Yeah, for that fun heal. size shit, it's, it's best when you petite. I don't know why he said that. When yeah, you, like, why would he say that? Uh-oh. <laughs> all, I, all, I, all I know is that... Um, Nobody wants to be to hear a penis referred to as fun times. No, no, not no, not a guy that enjoys. A girl doesn't. Himself. That's not. He should probably not use that. I hope he doesn't use that anymore. Please, little dick dudes all o- all over the place right now, like fun stuff. Nah, yeah. man, nobody would. Shit, be, they're working that into the repertoire, man, because they got to sell that little good, dick. Though. It's they, not. It doesn't work though. It they didn't know work. they got a little homie, man, so they got to sell it. It didn't work though. I'm telling you, it didn't work. I was like, well, not. That's so not he underperformed. It. it wasn't as fun. No, I'm just saying I didn't. I I didn't. I was able to avoid certain situations. Because I knew that wasn't going to be a good situation. Could the guy that you were with could he have fit a regular condom? The one that I'm talking about, that the had one the that slid, had you know, off. He no. couldn't no. even fit a regular condom. No, he's going to need a small condom. He's it would need a small condom. It would have slid off a regular. A regular. I don't condom? know. His I mean, balls I don't know. are bigger than his penis. Oh wow. It, he just definitely needed something very small. <sighs> wow. Hey man, it's happening out there. It's okay. It's all right, guys. It's all good. What else? Do we have anything else today? Well, we had the Super Bowl, but, you know, I wrote an article for Rolling Out where I I quoted a a lot of um, Atlanta industry music insiders and influencers and super legendary people Mm -hmm. because the Super Bowl is here in Atlanta and they announced Maroon 5 was the halftime performance show. Right. And you have so many amazing musical acts here in Atlanta. It just seems very strange. Mm, More amazing than Maroon 5? Yeah, I think so. I think Outkast is more amazing. Lie, when, Outkast ain't performing no Outcast more. Outkast would have been fucking legend. Outkast isn't performing. They they went on a retirement tour, right? Who hasn't Jay Z gone on three? So you're saying that we're gonna have to guess where the Outkast is performing this week? No, I, mean, I love Outkast way okay. more than Maroon Five. Okay, I'm just saying you were getting ready to get mm-hmm. your beige card taken. Well, no, but you just say Outkast as if they were they were viable. They're not. Let, can we pick somebody viable? They're outcasts. Okay, is not I, I have I have a suggestion. Okay, okay, I, and I and I've talked to a few people about this. Did you see the Confessions tour? Usher. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Usher. I mean, did you, you see know, it? Did you see it? I, did I see a video? I didn't go. You didn't go to the concert. Okay. Right. Did you go to the concert? I didn't go to the concert. Okay. Well, then you, it doesn't. If you went to Confessions, mm-hmm. Usher was absolutely amazing at that. To, he was like. He was like the, the Michael Jackson of that time at that time, right? That time. At that time. The that show time. was absolutely amazing, mm-hmm. right? And I get the okay, Maroon 5, they do have stuff out that is more recent. Usher had a hit single a couple years ago. Which and, one? Climax? No. It was the one with Young Thug, No Limit, okay? That wasn't a hit. It it was a hit. It was a That hit. wasn't a hit. It that, was a hit. That wasn't a hit. White people don't know that song. Got that man to be. White people don't know don't that song. Don't White people Dab. do not know that Wait, song. Wait, what, what'd you do with your show? I don't know. Dab. She's about to take it. She's about to take it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to dance. No, it, I, Usher, I think Usher and Little John would have been amazing. Oh, God, Little no. Little John what? has some music that white people love. Yeah, but yeah, it but does. that was in the, the early 2000s. It, no, come on. Maroon 5 is making music right now. They're chart right now. So you're saying that right there's now. no... Atlanta artists. You artist. have to be legendary. Usher is legendary. Usher, not Lil John. Stop it. Usher. Uh, but I'm, you got to have some stuff to come out in the middle. But Usher would have brought, he would have had to bring out Lil Luda John, and, Luda. And Lil John. Okay. Uh, that Jeezy. Been dope. Why though? Yeah. 
Is it because it's Atlanta and I all the other places no. super? They don't go to that city to find the person no, from that city. But I think Atlanta is known for being a party music city. I mean, this is okay. where most music is created. Maroon Five records were created here in Atlanta. A True, lot of absolutely. Them. So I just think that. So it, all the writers and people who are involved in Maroon Five music are being celebrated. I don't see why there's a problem. I just think that they could have had something that was more that was Frankly, more I indicative would, of the state of the who's, city. Who 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 originally came out with the criticism? Is it your criticism or somebody came originally out? Originally was USA Today wrote an article that said there was a snub. And then I just asked Right. I asked Polo to Don, uh KP, Kwan Prather, mm-hmm. um Ike Dirty, mm-hmm. Isaac Hayes' son, um, Jason Reddick with ASCAP, the director of ASCAP here, just for their suggestions. And a lot of them just felt like everyone loves Maroon 5, mm-hmm. right? They just felt like because Atlanta is so big in setting the culture, I understand. I mean, me, to me, Donald Glover would have been great. Donald Glover and Migos would have been amazing. And you bring out some other people. I think that he's definitely crossover. I mean, you know, at, at Migos, it doesn't have they are crossover even though they're not like that. And and I and people say that they thought that there might have been some backlash because of the Cardi the, B thing. No, no, because of the the um Kaepernick stuff. Oh, and see, right? that's why cuz what would Donald Glover doesn't have necessarily enough to perform. I think he does. I think mm, and I think you have special it's not guests. Well known. Katie he's known Perry. for Redbone and This Is America. And the NFL does not want Donald Glover doing This Is America for their halftime show. I don't, but but Usher Migos, is just not current. Usher's not current. Uh, I don't know, and I, you know uh, like they do those like I think it could have been a great show. I would though. love to see look at, Maroon look at how, 5 look at come how out. Missy, and I would love to see Maroon 5 bring Usher out. Perhaps bring Rock City out. I was gonna say that they cetera, should definitely perform "Locked Away" with Rock City. Rock City lives but here. But you don't They're know they won't. I would love that. You don't know that they won't though. I hope they will. I I hope for. I, I actually hit Tehran immediately and was like, they need to bring y'all out to do "Locked Away." I hit Ray. Not that they listen to me, but hopefully they will. A lot of people. Don't, they, I mean, hopefully they'll allow them to do that. I don't think a lot of people know that the Maroon Five sound is an Atlanta sound. You you touched on it earlier, but right. the the sound. Is an Atlanta sound. The writers, the producers, their they're keyboard here. player is um, is is from Atlanta and is an artist as well. So I they're mean, here. So this yeah. to me, this well, oh is, yeah, PJ, yeah, yeah, this is celebrating Atlanta. Now Maroon Five may have a responsibility to show right that now that they're here. But I think that Maroon Five is a better draw than Usher in the 2018 Super Bowl. So you don't think that Usher, JD, like like so so deaf, um, d- disturbing the peace, like. The little face Like you don't think That would have been I mean Outcast really Owed it to the city To do this for us We needed that Outcast would have Outcast would have been great and, Like but, like I don't understand I'm why taking them off the table Because I don't feel like they can we not take them Off the table Because yeah, well, I think enough and If enough people nah, Had have reached they got, out Because when Prince did it Prince wasn't current yeah, But he's that's still a legend He's Outcast, still legendary Outcast got the Rest and bitch face If you ask me Outcast always acts Andre like Andre is definitely going to wear yeah. an outfit that no, says he's No, but his, his whole happy. persona is like, like, I'm better than, like, get back with the group. Nah, and then he's always got that attitude, so you have to, like, beg his ass. Would you please perform with Outcast? It would have been okay, though. We would have taken it. Outcast would have been the, the best, number okay. one. Okay, But if we're going... If, and I if, know they turned the Super Bowl down before. If so Outcast Super is off the table, like, no. and we're talking about who's a capable performer, yes, Usher is probably the most capable Atlanta artist. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about a what global about event. What Ludacris, mm, Ludacris. <laughs> Why do we care so much about who performs? We supposed to be boycotting anyway. Are we? I don't know. I don't. I don't do, Are we boycotting? When is the last time you really, really watched the Super Bowl halftime show? Beyonce. But besides uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Besides her, I watched Lady Gaga, but That's I really all watched she Beyonce. Got, dog. You see what I'm saying? Dry this is well. this isn't even something that we really give a shit yes, about. Yes, we do because it was Beyonce. And when Katy Perry brought out Missy Elliott, do you remember that Katy Perry's performance when she brought out Missy Elliott, people went crazy. I don't remember. Which is, well, I do remember I do, that. Which is why I know that if Usher performed and it was the Usher from Confessions, Usher with Little John, not, though. yes, it is. It could be it's if the Usher. EDM you know how many times no, a day isn't. Usher hears we want the Confessions, Usher. It's okay. I don't Usher give a damn. Usher probably so tired of motherfuckers <laughs> well, saying that. Usher, I bet you. I know one You're thing. Like goddamn it, it wasn't even my kids. If they had, if they, if they. <laughs> offered it to Usher and he could have started performing and he could have started actually like you know getting ready and then you have Little John and then you have um, Jermaine Dupri and then you have Ludacris and then I think it would have been great to have TLC as well keep they it came real back from, keep, keep they it just real. came back from South Africa they're amazing keep and, it real. I mean it's an Atlanta group that it might have been dope to have So So Deaf 
I think they're doing, they're doing a tour right now. They're yeah. doing a tour. Yeah, yeah, but at the Super Bowl... Don't nobody want that drama and shit, escape acting like they don't like each other. And nobody, nobody wants to deal with all that. Nobody's going to do that when it comes to Super Bowl, that. though. Here, here's the it's thing. It's a party. It's welcome to Atlanta here's where the, the players play. Keep it real. Where they ride on the things like every day. They, I mean, they already fucking gave that to the... To the um, <laughs> that took a lot of energy. Is it Monday Night Football <laughs> or what is it? The foot, They already... The, the Falcons. Falcons already do that. They already have, like, I mean... But that would have been still good to do because it's okay, Atlanta. So nobody gives a shit about that somewhere here's else, why. No, here's why. Here's why, though. Because Atlanta... Uh, clearly, Atlanta is known for its music. So when uh, an event comes to town... I don't know, though. Town, Stop for a second. Hold you on. You do but know when that. an event no, comes that. like that, comes to town, of course, the music executives and people who are involved in music are going to say, hey, I want in. Listen to what I'm telling you. Though. I want in. Atlanta is not known for music. I want in. You make you, hey. you bringing this show to my city. Wake up call. I want in. Wake up call. Atlanta is not known for music. Please, unless Atlanta. you're what? urban music. There are so many That's other genres true. of music. Justin Bieber. Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber is an urban music artist who who's who is white from Atlanta, and they could have. Justin Bieber and Usher would have been great. Justin Bieber is not from Atlanta. Usher is not from Atlanta. They may have broken here. They're they not are. They are here. known. Atlanta. It, Here's Usher's the thing. known for Atlanta. So, so what? All the Atlantans are uh, now all of a sudden y'all don't y'all don't care about no, the people who came stomp. here and he did, did the well. Stomp. We're not talking about the Negro League. We're talking about the NFL. Don't you do that? This is this is the NFL is the Negro. Negro League. Negro Football sure League. <laughs> no, it's not. Not the people buy, buy tickets. They're not the Negro League. And I read, I'm going to read a quote here in a second. White from fans, Polo black players is damn near. White the fans. Threes. They don't give a shit about Usher and yes, Ludacris. Yes, they do. Uh, first of all, Usher more white has more white fans than black fans. Usher is the man. That's because they're more white people. Let's keep it real. Come on. Usher here's has the thing. a lot of white fans. Here's the like, thing. You know, here's Ludacris the thing. Ludacris has a lot of white fans. Justin Bieber. They do. Yeah, Fast they, do. they do. But guess who has all white fans? Maroon 5. No, I like Maroon 5 too. Yeah, you like them, but when's the last time you liked... I'm going to read a quote from Paul Yeah, Ladon. alternative black girls like Maroon 5. <laughs> no, what? Goth yeah. black girls? Yes, I'm not alternative. alternative. I don't listen to rap. Read your quote, man. Paul Don says, the NFL had a chance... Can you read it into the mic, though? <laughs> the NFL had a chance to make the world a better place, and they blew it. No, they did Microphone drop. That's microphone drop. Microphone drop. But you want to hear? This I, is the I, guy who has a, a, a. Don't you do it? I agree. Nah. <laughs> you come for? I fuck with Polo. Nah. I, I, okay. All right. Go ahead. Ray Ray Daniel says, "I wasn't shocked by the NFL's decision not to embrace our culture in the city that breeds urban. Not to embrace the culture in the city that breeds urban culture. They blackballed Kaepernick because he took a knee. Why would we expect anyone anything else? Ray Daniels is eating off Maroon Five. He is. That's, that's ridiculous. It's Ray not ridiculous. Daniels. That's Ray, not ridiculous. Come on, man. That's not ridiculous. You know, we we all we all the three of us know that the performer may get some money, but that's only him and his team. Yeah, the, that's why they're not really upset. <laughs> but the writers, the writers, the the producers, the people behind the scenes are getting paid off this performance. Like this is still a, a public performance that yeah. people will eat off of in the publishing world. Yeah. Divine Stevens. Divine has been around uh, imp impactful in the music industry since LaFace days. Okay. He's executive now, started as a choreographer. Right. You know. Since the early 2000s, Atlanta's music scene has continued to push boundaries that once seemed unachievable with the success of our global artists like Usher, Justin Bieber, TLC, OutKast, and others. This was a perfect opportunity for the NFL to support a culture that has consistently set international trends. And they, they, Atlanta is an undeniable leader in music, performances, and culture. Okay, so they did. They said, so let's say they did pick uh, Lil John and East Side Boys, right? No, we didn't say the East Side why Boys. Can't, why are we going to show the East Side Boys? See how you try to throw it in there? No, because that's what sarcastic. I'm saying. That's the thing. Nike gave Kaepernick a whole deal. Black people like, nah, it, yeah, nobody care about that market. That's just a market employee. The NFL hires the East Side Boys to come in and back Lil John up. That's just a market employee. It doesn't fucking matter what people do. Black people don't give a shit. They're going to complain about whatever it is. And you know what? Matter of fact, since you, since you brought Nike up, because I found out that Nike. Nike actually made some sizable donations to uh, different Republican campaigns. Oh, no. So they took all that money, all that extra not money that, that people money. are going out and spending on Nike. Not all that money. They're giving it straight to the Republicans. Republicans are not evil. Republicans are not any worse than Democrats. So that's that's a, mm. that's a, a your position is silly if you ask me. Uh, not necessarily because I think, I think they're both corrupt. I don't so have any who gives a fuck I, which I mean, side I goes to? I think that you have to give money to both sides. If I own Nike, I would give money to both sides. I want to make sure, hey, I don't know who's going to win this thing. I want to be in good graces What if they're just, wins. no, what if they don't give any money to Democrats? What if they're just Republicans? So what? All Republicans aren't racist. I agree. All Republicans aren't evil. They, just, still, they were still very Republican leaning. Like so they what? gave huh? like 100 grand to the Republicans they made a and commercial. 20 grand to the Democrats. So what? Is, you know what? This is, this is leftover from last week. They did that commercial with Kaepernick and you just want to, you're just <laughs> not going to be happy about it. And you think <laughs> the you Super Bowl would be any different? You've shitted on the, the whole Kaepernick movement now by taking away Nike's props. You it's think ridiculous. the Super Bowl would be oh, I, oh, yeah, you're right. I did it. Here's another 
another thing about Atlanta. Me. Here's no, me. I'm responsible. Here's another thing about Atlanta culture when it comes to music. They're still very cliquish. So if one click got it and the other click didn't, that mm-hmm. click was like, well, I ain't gonna give it to Usher. Usher ain't do the he. No, he, hey, everybody yeah, he be driving knows. them Lambos all around town. Thing I ain't got nothing to say about it. <laughs> Usher <laughs> is a global artist, and is. Usher is a. a it uh, should would have been a great choice. Usher, Justin Bieber would have been perfect choices. I think. Very good. I think having TLC and 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 Luda to support that would have been awesome. I, I mean, don't know that. It, I don't know that that matters. I don't know that. I don't know that because it's in Atlanta, we have to use Atlanta people matters. I, I, I think that it would have been. I think that when people come here, even mm-hmm. white people. I mean, USA Today was written by a white reporter mm-hmm. that that announced that. You know, still the first snub. I also got a phone call from TMZ the next day asking for quotes from people because obviously they think it's a big deal as well. So I think people think of Atlanta and they think of it as being this cool place. And so you come to it, people come here because they want to see the so so deaf Afro guy. They want to see, you know, Usher. They want to perhaps see Usher at the mall. And they, they really want to go to the strip club. They do. They want to see. They, they want to see Two Chainz. They want to see Two White chocolate she came out and stripped in front. She's not. She's a wife and she's moved on. But the point is, they, they want to see, see the that pink trap house. They want to see that. that culture. And I think that we just they the Super Bowl just, don't want to see that. And they, and that's unfortunate because no, their players. It's do. a brand, and they have their they have the right to choose to how they want to brand themselves. I think they missed the opportunity. I think they could have they could have really did a lot to to squelch this idea that the NFL doesn't care. Because they have to care Because the majority Of their players are black So even if they really don't You need to act like you do And I think they missed The opportunity Now they are They did add Cardi so B So who's not entering The draft this year Because the NFL Nobody. doesn't they care They did bring Cardi B in and, and Travis Scott But I just don't know In the what? The the performance They tried to add them Onto the performance <laughs> Well Maroon 5 got a single With Cardi B though They do So that makes sense That I, makes sense I hope they'll do Locked Away I'll be happy if Rock City Get to perform with them and, I will know, too Yeah. And and I think that Usher Would have been a wonderful show I'm, Don't get me wrong yeah. I'm not saying he went But I don't care That it's not Usher right. And it's Maroon 5 I don't care Because still Atlanta People are going to eat Because of the Maroon but I just, 5 But I just think It would have done a lot For the culture here Atlanta has a, Atlanta is music and, and even though Like we said A lot of people don't know A lot of those songs And those producers That create those records are, They live here They're going to eat it's anyway, been a creative. Though. It's a creative hub. Yeah, but they should be. Rec- it should be represented in. Black like, folks well, stop what? messing with the Super Bowl ever since Janet Jackson pulled her own titty out on stage and blamed it on Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I. You know what? On that note, we're gonna ignore. I got something one. for you on that too. <laughs> get it, get the him. People at CBS. The people at CBS. Right. Tried to sabotage Janet's career ever since. Oh wow! And Justin yeah. Timberlake got to perform twice. He he got to perform with Janet Jackson, then mm-hmm. he came back and had his whole a whole. So you're saying me Usher could not perform? Usher was robbed. Okay, Usher, TLC, Outkast, they're robbed. We're robbed. Outkast don't want to do it. Yes, they they could have if we talked to them about it. If we enlisted L.A. Reid to reach out and and somehow cajole. Well. I believe uh, okay. I may not I may not have been born in Atlanta, but I believe in the power of Atlanta. There are too. there are definitely very talented people in every skill. And I'm sure like Atlanta doesn't have any, especially in terms of tourism, Atlanta doesn't have any water. We right. don't have we don't have an ocean. We don't have like a, a nice beach where everyone right. can come and hang out for the summer. But this is a place that everybody comes to. I'm pretty sure that Atlanta will be able to work something out. To be able to make sure that the wind stays here, and I'm teasing. I, I know that Atlanta is full of music, and we we do have a stronghold on the sound of music, not just in urban music. I'm just teasing, but the the point I'm making, honestly, though, is that we're going to still eat because we already we are. Our hands we are, but, I mean, I, but it's, it still would have been different to see the representation. I hope Maroon Five does do that and bring out. I think. You know, I would just love to see because it doesn't have to be about who's current right now. Usher is an icon, and he has the ability to to put on a show that would have been Super Bowl worthy. And he's going to bring white people and black people out. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just exactly. teasing. Yeah, the, just teasing. I think LaFace did a good job of, 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 of creating global superstars. You know, like I said, TLC just got back from South Africa. They're going on, they just performed with Katy Perry and Jewel and Wiz Khalifa. Like, they, they, they created the kind of stars that crossed those boundaries. So we could have we definitely put them on stage. But, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. We yeah. still got time. It's yep. not so Super Bowl's not until January. There could be a lot of surprises that are being cooked up that we don't mm-hmm. know about. In the meantime, check out my article on Rolling Out. <laughs> Shameless plug. And if you like this show, you can share it as well. You share should both definitely of them. share the show. And if you have some some comments, especially on the uh, Crystal's uh, sex hair. No, please don't. It won't be back next week. I'm Give sorry. I comments. apologize. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay, so what if we get comments like, "Oh my God, Crystal, keep the sex hair." Would you do it every week? Would you have sex right no. before every show? No, I didn't have sex today. Okay. I, I was in the heat. Would you go to play polo <laughs> before every show? 
Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll see you next week. Music Love Life.